Before you ever consider stylizing video footage, it's always wise to make sure you're starting with the best image quality. Whether it's overexposed or underexposed, chances are you're probably losing information. So in this tutorial, we're going to fix both an underexposed and overexposed shot using the Lumetri color effect. Let's start with the underexposed shot. In the project panel, double click on the underexposed composition and then press the spacebar to begin playback in the timeline. You can see the clip is underexposed and it lacks contrast. So I'll press the spacebar to stop playback here for a second, and I want to draw your attention to something. Notice how dark the image is right now at 4 seconds and 6 frames. If I click up here in the top part of the timeline towards the beginning of the timeline, notice up here around frame 0 how much more bright the image is. Part of the challenge with color correction is the fact that shots change over time, so sometimes you actually have to keyframe the effects. Now before we get into keyframing, let's just apply a basic adjustment at frame 0 here. So I'll go to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search area, and type Lumetri, L-U-M-E-T, and sure enough, there's the effect. To apply, click on it and drag it and drop it right into the Composition panel. Go to the Effect Controls panel, and all we need to do is open the Basic Correction area. Now we can fix any of the exposure problems happening in this shot within the tone section of this effect. So I'm going to scroll down in the effect controls panel to pop the tone section up a little higher in our view. Starting at the top, exposure adjusts the brightness of all of the pixels across the entire image. Contrast adjusts the difference between the lightest and the darkest parts of the image. So a higher contrast makes that difference wider and a lower contrast makes that difference less. Highlights adjust the bright part of the image, but not the absolute brightest. That's the whites area. Same goes for shadows and blacks. Shadows adjust the darker parts of the image, and the blacks area of the image contain the absolute darkest pixels. Now to make a quick adjustment, I'm going to go ahead and click the Auto button here in the bottom of the panel. When I click Auto, it does a pretty good job, but you notice this area here is extraordinarily bright. So let's look at some of the adjustments that got applied. So let's go back and fine tune this initial auto adjustment. Go to the whites area and let's drag that to the left to bring those levels down just a little bit. Now for personal taste, I think this image looks a little flat. So let's add a little more contrast into the scene. Go back up to the contrast, click and drag to the right to add more. You should also notice that this is going to make our colors appear as though they're a little more saturated. Overall, I like how this image looks, but if you remember, as the camera moves, the image changes over time, so we need to add some keyframes. Go to the Effect Controls panel and start with the exposure setting. Click on the stopwatch and hold your mouse down as you drag through all the rest of the different settings in the tone area. So we've just keyframed our initial adjustment. Now move the current time indicator down the timeline until we get to an area where the image is significantly darker. I'll stop right here at 3 seconds in the timeline. Now let's go back to the Effect Controls panel and click the Auto button one more time to add our second keyframe. Press the spacebar to preview the clip, and as you can see, our color adjustments look nice and smooth over the entire duration of the clip. Press the spacebar to stop playback, and let's look at how we can adjust the overexposed shot since the composition has already been opened once, we can just click on the Overexposed tab here in the timeline. We need to apply our effect, so go to the Effect and Presets panel and drag the Lumetri Color effect right onto the Composition panel. With the effect applied, go back to the Effect Controls panel and open up your basic corrections. Make sure the Tone area is open, and then click the Auto button to create our initial adjustment. While this made a pretty good adjustment, I think the contrast is a little much, so go back up to the contrast area, click and scrub to the left to soften that up a little bit. Now we can press the spacebar and preview our shot. Overall, I think this looks pretty solid, and since it's an evenly exposed shot, we don't have to add any keyframes. Now, if you find yourself having to make corrections to a lot of footage, you should consider getting a color calibrated monitor and using the color workspace so you can monitor the video signal coming out using vector scopes. But that is definitely a workflow requiring deeper discussions. 
For fixing exposure problems and after effects, the basic correction section in the Lumetri color panel is a great place to start.